This is the most disgusting thing that has ever happened in the history of, of the company. I don't know if he's on drugs or what his deal is, you know, but to come and do this and, and, and act like this, disgusting, despicable, makes me sick. And uh, we as an organization need to make sure that this never happens again. <laughs> I don't give a f What's up guys, Sal here. So OnePlus was all set to unveil its new OnePlus 60 smartphone on October 30th in New York City. But then Apple decided to hold their iPad event on the exact same date and around the same time frame. As a result, OnePlus is moving up the launch date by a day in order to avoid the clash with Apple. This is a right move by OnePlus if you ask me, otherwise they would be totally overshadowed by Apple. Even though the Apple event is for iPad and MacBooks, not the iPhones, all the headlines, all the coverage, everything is going to be about Apple on the 30th. So preponing the launch by a day would mean OnePlus would get at least a day of headlines before the Apple event. That's also really all they need. All hands-on videos generally release on day one. That said, you know the funny thing is that some people are saying that Apple did this on purpose. Apple for some evil reason placed their event on the exact same date and around the same time frame, which has to be the dumbest thing I've heard in a while. Imagine thinking Apple gives a damn about OnePlus. Apple would have had this date planned for a long time. Not even being rude to OnePlus at all, but honestly, Apple doesn't give two shits about them or what they do. Just an unfortunate clash of announcement if you ask me. Apple doesn't give a damn about any Android company not named Samsung. And I'm not even sure how much they even really care. So it's ridiculous and hilarious at the same time when people say that Apple did it on purpose. Anyway, OnePlus is now reaching out to attendees to let them know about the rescheduling and is offering to cover travel expenses, hotel costs and all for attendees if they need to change their flights. The company is also offering full refunds to ticket holders who won't be able to attend. That's extraordinarily nice of them. That's not bad when you consider those airline and hotel fees could be reasonable or insane. I don't travel enough to know, but I do know New York is not a cheap place to be. It's a huge sign of gratitude for any company to extend, gotta give them props for sure. That said, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.